Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Next.js 15. I was working on one of my project in Next.js 15 and I added one cool feature in that. So I thought to share that cool feature with you guys. So it's about the WhatsApp share icon. As I scroll down, it's going to pop in a WhatsApp icon from the bottom with the animation you can see with this blinking effect if i just keep it uh, visible and if i hover over it it's going to increase its size i will not be covering the ui this is not the actual website i've just copied the code snippets from this particular website it provides pre-built components if i go to the header you can see that it's going to show me this header which i've added by copying the code from here i can convert it into the dark mode convert it into the jsx and i can copy the jsx uh, click on view copy the jsx and just paste it what wherever you want so these are all the code snippet which I've copied from this particular website. All right. Uh, but the main point of this tutorial is to show you this cool feature which I have added. I have not used any pre-built NPM package or library that provide us this animation effect for WhatsApp. And if I click on this, it's going to take me to the WhatsApp app if it's installed in our uh, system. Otherwise, it's going to take us to this URL and we can click on it and it's going to open up the whatsapp on our system on mobile it's going to open up the whatsapp app and this is the predefined message that user uh, can write while sending us a message and we can obviously optimize this particular message uh, if we want so this is our website and we want users to contact us on whatsapp this is a pretty cool feature to add in every website you build so let's see how we can add this animated uh, whatsapp icon on scroll and clicking on it it should pop in uh, uh, this particular URL and uh, it should be able to contact us on our WhatsApp number whatever we provide it to this is not a real number I've just added it uh, random all right so let's start off with this UI I have just added this UI in a new project and there is no WhatsApp icon as I scroll down you can see that there is no icon visible I've just added all of these sections from this website and I can show you in the main page.tsx file which refers to the default home URL over here localhost 3000 and it contains all of these sections header there is a uh, three sections and there is a footer and here you can see that header one two three section and there is a footer which i've copied from the same hyper ui dot dev website okay and i've added some default uh, ui over here as well and i've centered everything by adding mx auto on the main layout file okay so now it's time to add that whatsapp icon first of all if i go over here and if i scroll down to 100 pixels i want that whatsapp icon to be popping from the bottom of this page okay so first of all I have this particular whatsapp dot png icon already added in public folder and I'm going to create a new component over here so inside the app I can add that component let's say whatsapp live dot tsx and inside it let's add that whatsapp live and this is going to show whatsapp okay and here in the layout file i'm going to add that particular component after this children so whatsapp live like this okay and let's close these two files layout and page.tsx and let's go over here and here you can see that it is showing whatsapp text at the bottom of this particular page which i'm going to modify just now so in this particular file I'm going to write everything for this particular functionality including the CSS which I will be adding in global.css file. So first of all, uh, I'm going to style it a bit. So let's add this div and inside it I'm going to add an anchor tag and it is going to take the class name. So WhatsApp link relative, this is the class and then let's add href and this is going to take us to a particular uh, URL which I need to construct yet. So let's give it empty string for now. Let's open the URL on a new tab of the browser by adding the underscore blank string. Okay, rel no refers and this. All right, so this is the anchor tag which I've added and inside it, I'm going to add a span this is going to be that blinking effect which was happening behind that WhatsApp icon. Okay, it's going to take another span. Okay, so for this particular, I'm going to add a class name. This is going to take absolute left 
seven pixels top seven pixels and i will just remove everything from here after top i need to add the z index i want this particular shimmering effect behind that icon uh, so let's give it minus 50 size is going to be 10 all right and let's remove this span icon and inside this span i'm going to add flex size full items center justify center animate pink rounded full bg green 500 and opacity is going to be 75 and below this span i'm going to show that whatsapp icon image so this is going to take the source this is going to be whatsapp slash what is the name of that image it is going to be whatsapp.png so whatsapp.png and alt whatsapp width equal to 40 40 and i'm going to add a class name finally so class name equals to the whatsapp icon and z index equals to the 50. all right there seems some error so i need to import this image over here so image from next image all right so let's see how it's looking currently you can see that here is looking over here so i need to add some css and also add some logic and construct the url for adding the number and predefined message so that user can click on it and we can navigate to that whatsapp app okay so the ui is done now in the global.css file below this body i'm going to add some styling so first of all we have these two classes we have this uh, whatsapp link and this whatsapp icon okay so in this global.css file this is going to take whatsapp link and this is going to take position fixed bottom is going to be 80 pixel right is going to be 40 pixel z index is going to be 50 transition which is going to be the bottom 0 0.5 seconds we can uh, decrease it to 3 okay so this is the whatsapp link let's save it and let's see how it's looking currently it's not being visible the reason is that it is uh, uh, we have to make it visible so we have added uh, this whatsapp link and whatsapp icon now i'm going to dynamically add the visible class to it currently it's going out of the screen this is the reason it's not visible because i've added minus 80 on scroll down dynamically using the javascript i'm going to make it visible to pop in from the bottom of that page so i'm going to add uh, that visible so whatsapp link dot visible which i'm going to dynamically add this class to that div which i have created okay so this is going to be the bottom 60 pixels all right and now i can actually optimize the size of that icon as well so let's add that size so what's up icon and this is going to take the width of 55 pixels height of 55 pixels and uh, this is going to take the transition transform 0.3s ease only all right and on hover i want to increase the size imagine that uh, rather than visible i can add the hover effect like this and this is going to take a uh, scale 1.2 okay so now on the mobile i don't want to add uh, the equal uh, margin from the bottom or from the right side so we can add that media query so that we can detect if it is on mobile or on the desktop so this code is going to work on the mobile screens who have maximum width of 580 okay and i'm going to copy everything from here and i'm going to paste it over here and rather than actually uh, adding the right 40 i'm going to add it to 30 okay and uh, when it is visible uh, i'm going to add the bottom 
to 30 as well okay actually we could add this right over here but let's keep it like this now uh, it is added now let's see how it's how it's looking it's not visible the reason is that i need to add that visible class dynamically in our whatsapp live now over here everything i need to do is to create uh, that use effect hook so whenever this component is going to get triggered means whenever this layout is going to get triggered uh, this is going to trigger this component and use effect is going to be visible automatically all right so also what i need to do is on multiple pages since I've added on this layout file this is going to be visible on all the pages including those pages that does not have this scroll so I'm going to write a logic that this whatsapp icon is visible on the page that have scroll but the pages which have scroll the icon needs to be visible on scroll down and those pages which does not have this scroll that icon should be visible automatically because it does not have scroll so this is the logic which i'm going to add over here since i need to write use effect over here i need to convert this component a client side component so i'll write use client at top and also let's import use effect from react okay so let's come inside this particular component let's write use effect okay and inside this use effect this is going to be an empty array i want this particular use effect to be triggered first time whenever this component is mounted okay and inside this use effect i'm going to add a function this is going to be the handle scroll this is going to check the scroll if it is down 200 pixels or not so let's add this uh, handle scroll and inside it uh, I'm going to check if uh, first of all let's select the whatsapp link this particular anchor tag so my extension in vs code is suggesting me this code which is right okay uh, I'm going to change the variable name so whatsapp link element all right and below this I'm going to check if window.scrollY is greater than 100 then I'm going to add a class to this particular class okay I'm going to add two classes so let's add it like this so whatsapp link dot class list dot add uh, rather than animate bounce I need to make it visible because this is the class name I've added in global.css here whatsapp link dot visible okay uh, and else i'm going to remove the visible class okay it is throwing uh, this error let's hover over it and let's see it is possibly null so um, what i can do is i can add the question mark and the question mark over here all right so handle scroll is added and after that i'm going to add that event handler which is the handle scroll where when i want to add the event handler it is going to be added on the scroll okay and then finally i'm going to um, add that unmount trigger return window dot remove event handler scroll so let's save it and let's see how it gets visible so if i scroll down you will see that it's not getting visible let me refresh the page and now you can see that it's getting visible how cool it is looking and now if i hover over it you'll see that its size is getting increased as well okay uh, it's not smooth but i'm going to go back to the css to make it smooth but it's working perfectly fine but it will not work on the pages where there is no scroll so for those pages i need to make it visible automatically without scrolling down so i don't need to add a check in that okay so for that rather than actually adding this particular line over here i'm going to add another function and this is going to be check scroll visibility okay and inside it first of all what i can do is uh, let's copy this particular line and paste it i've added it as a reference now i'm going to check the height of that the scroll height and the client height okay like this now i'm going to check if scroll height is greater than client height then i'm going 
to trigger this particular handle scroll okay uh, and again this is going to check if it is greater than 100 or not otherwise i'm automatically going to add and this class and make it visible okay so let's add it i'm going to add handle scroll and window dot handle scroll like this okay otherwise i'm going to add that whatsapp link class dot remove rather than remove i need to make it add okay and here i'm going to trigger this function like this okay first of all let's see on the main page if it gets visible or not let's refresh let's scroll down and now you can see that it's getting visible with the animation with that uh, shimmering effect and if i hover over it now i'm gonna go to the page and i'm going to first of all comment these sections so that there is no scroll okay so let's save it and let's refresh this page and now you can see that uh, there is no scroll i have not scrolled down and still it's getting visible so it means that it's working on both the pages where there is scroll and where there is no scroll let's bring it back okay so now here if i click on it nothing will happen because i've added this empty string now i have to construct this particular url so that it can work all right so at the top uh, what i can do is first of all uh, i'm going to add a random number which is not real obviously and below this i'm going to add construct the url so whatsapp provides some api url which we can use to navigate which can automatically detect uh, the whatsapp app on the mobile devices so this is the url which you can use api.whatsapp.com slash send okay and after that uh what i can do is uh let's let's write my youtube url for this channel and let's construct the message which I want to append while users contacting us uh, on that particular app, WhatsApp, okay? So this is the message. Now I need to construct a URL. Obviously it's going to start off with the base URL. Then I'm going to add the phone number, then uh, encoded message. Uh, and yeah, so now I'm going to add this particular URL. So this is going to start off with base URL like this. Phone number is this. Text is going to be the encoded message. And these are some uh, predefined uh, uh, query params which we need to add because we want to contact uh, on a WhatsApp number. All right. Now, this is going to be the WhatsApp link which I need to add in the href over here. All right. So let's save it let's refresh and now if i scroll down it's going to get visible yes it's going to get visible now if i click on it you will see that it's going to take me to that page and it is showing this particular number obviously it's going to open up this profile on the whatsapp and it has appended this particular message by default populated on users uh, send message text box all right so it's done one thing that i need to add if i hover over it you'll see that there is no animation on its size increased so on this global.css uh what i can do is so it's showing uh transform scale 1.2 uh we have the transform 0.3 ease so actually it is should not be ease in out it should only be ease and it is not transform it is transform okay so let's save it let's see if it works or not if i hover over it now there is an animation it's smooth and it's working perfectly fine and you can use this particular pre-built component anywhere you want in your application if you don't want it to be on all the pages obviously you can uh, move out from layout file and put it anywhere in your route file whether it's page.tsx file or any other routing file so this was a basic functionality which i added in my personal project i thought to share it with you guys let me know what you think about it and do subscribe my channel and like this video.